was the son of the man in question. He sounded like an older teen or maybe an adult. He said that he had been with his 55 year old father that morning at the Lakota Springs apartments about a mile west of Liberty Center Mall. He told the 911 operator that his dad is an alcoholic. He is trying to detox and he's hallucinating. He then told the operator his dad had a loaded gun and threatened him with it. He was hoping the police could do a wellness check on him. He, uh, he ended up coming over to me on the couch and I guess his hallucinations were getting worse. He was talking about uh, like if you ever impersonate my son again, I'll kill you. He said to me, so uh, I think it's like a big safety issue. Yeah, I'll say it was a safety issue. The man's son told the 911 operator that he left the apartment after that incident. And shortly after that call, the son's aunt called 911. She is the sister of the man in question, and she also requested a wellness check, telling 911 what she knew about the gun that her brother had. He usually keeps it in the safe in his bedroom. <laughs> However, I know he loaded it this morning in front of Austin. So it has a low and loaded it this morning. Gotcha. Thank you for the update. I want them to know that before they get there. Yeah, please, because like I said, this could, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but it could end up turning into like a suicide by cop type scenario with him hallucinating okay. the way he is. You know, this all happened in a matter of minutes. The sheriff's deputies were already on their way to the apartment. Here's the dispatcher speaking with the deputies as they arrived. I got a visual on him. He's going to help us decide. Okay. Where he does have a pistol on Clear shots fired. Clear shots fired. Shots fired. Clear shots fired. Control for this blood. Okay. Oh. You got one in custody, sir, this blood. Well, that was the moment that responding officers shot that man. It's unclear at this point how many times he was shot or if he ever shot back at the deputies. EMTs took him to the hospital. We are still waiting to hear from the Butler County Sheriff's Office about his condition. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.